a very good morning to everyone so today we have a demo on the structure present on the mid sagittal section of the head and neck so let's start from the main topic that is known as the tongue so this is something known as the tongue and this is known as the on the back side that is known as the epiglottis so the examiner can ask you what are the extrinsic and intrinsic muscles of the tongue so intrinsic muscles are vertical transverse superior longitudinal and inferior longitudinal muscles while the extrinsic muscles are styloglossus genioglossus hyoglossus and the palatoglossus now we have to know about uh, the nerve supply of all these muscles so we have the motor nerve supply all these muscles is supplied by the the hypoglossal nerve that is the 12th cranial nerve same how the palatoglossus which is supplied by the cranial root of accessory nerve that is the pharyngeal plexus via vagus nerve we have the sensory nerve supply anterior two third of the tongue is supplied by the lingual nerve which is a branch of mandibular nerve and cauda tympanic nerve and this cauda tympanic nerve is carrying the special sensation while lingual nerve is carrying the general sensation now we have the posterior one third of the tongue is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve which is carrying both general and special sensation and postermost part is supplied by internal laryngeal nerve which is a branch of the vagus nerve and we have the developmental part so muscles is derived from the occipital myotomes and nerve supply is hypoglossal nerve same how we have the mucous membrane anterior two third of the tongue is derived from the first arch and the nerve supply is lingual nerve and cauda tympanic nerve Lingual nerve, it is a post-traumatic nerve of first arch, while cauda tympanic nerve is a pre-traumatic nerve of the first arch. Posterior one third is derived from the third arch, while the posterior most part of the tongue is by fourth arch. And the posterior one third is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve, which is nerve of third arch, while the posterior most part of the tongue is by the internal laryngeal nerve, which is a nerve of fourth arch. Now we have to know a little bit about the development. Anterior two third of the tongue is derived from lingual swelling and posterior one third is by hypobranchial eminence. Now we have to know about the anterior two third of the tongue where the papilla will be present and just behind this area we have the lingual swelling and this is known as the epiglottis on the back side this epiglottis and below between the epiglottis and tongue we have the vallicula. Now again the, the blood supply of the tongue is by the lingual artery tonsillar branch of facial artery 